Okay, this is going to be a, a short video. I just want to address one thing. It's just a stupid claim that's uh, been made by the ballers a lot. A stupid rebuttal, I should say, from the ballers concerning uh, relative density, which is just buoyancy, right? Um, I'm going to play it now in a second. I won't play the audio uh, because I can't get it to come through other than through the speakers, and that's no good. You, you want to be able to hear it properly, and I don't want to have you trying to listen in. So just have the closed captions on. You'll hear, this is, uh, I was listening to Flat Sides uh, in the past couple of days, and this is uh, Dave Farina versus Laura Jamar in a, in a debate. And Dave Farina, in a moment, is going to address, uh, he's going to give his address of uh, the, the, the buoyancy argument, right? That he's trying to promote a force of gravity. Now, before I go on and play this, I must point out two things. Number one, I'm sick. So you might hear a cough or a sneeze, right? Uh, and number two is a force of gravity, right? In this year, 2025, was thrown out the window by Albert Einstein, right? 110 years ago. It was, right, it started, a force of gravity started with um, Johannes Kepler, right? He was the originator of the idea. It was postulated on by Isaac Newton. Then Isaac Newton basically distanced himself from it. Um you know, later on in time, and uh, after him, other people came after Isaac Newton, trying to promote it, people like um, um, Reverend Jean-Michel, and Henry Cavendish, and then you have, uh, 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 what's his name, Boys with his 9.81 metres per second, per second calculation, after that. Either way, right, <clears throat> what they had to do eventually, was just hijack buoyancy, because buoyancy was the thing that debunked them. All, the down all the way what we call weight is is the downward vector of buoyancy buoyancy is two vectors downward and upward that's it right weight is just the name we give to the downward vector right we know this it's proven you can prove this this through scientific method there's no if buts or maybes about it right yet people like they free they want to keep pushing a completely out of date idea that never had any scientific backing and it was even I, that was even this. That was even hand waved away eventually, by by Isaac Newton, uh, and a complete and anything that anyone wanted to state after him was completely uh, uh, became completely completely irrelevant in uh, nineteen uh, fifteen, when Albert Einstein's uh, general relativity uh, uh, came out, um, that completely replaced all of the. Uh, claimed equations that was connected to a claimed force of attraction between masses. Mass itself is only uh, mole in, in chemistry. I, I literally could give a 10 minute rundown on the whole thing uh, with history and definitions and different things, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to show right how to defeat right this stupid rebuttal from the borders. Okay, I'm going to play it. Right? You'll see when it comes to, here we are, right? The problem with your density is you think that things fall down because something, because the air is less dense, the air is less dense ab above the objects too. So why don't things fall up, right? So that's Dave Farina, right? His rebuttal to the to the buoyancy argument is that why don't things fall up? If things fall down because the air below them are more are is are less dense, then why doesn't that same object go up? So uh, why did the apple go down and not up, right? Right, he's trying to remove the medium out of the equation and trying to claim a force of gravity right, uh, made the apple go down, which is a load of rubbish. Change the medium, the apple goes up. Right, That's what he's trying to do. Now, it's, it's a pathetic rebuttal, right? and it's, it's, the only people that use this rebuttal are either completely dishonest people or people who are thick. You know, there's only two people that promote a force of gravity. People who are dishonest are people who are stupid. I'm talking about in this arena. I'm not talking about your average day, everyday person who doesn't know any different at that. I'm talking about in this arena. If you f promote a force of gravity, then you're either dishonest or you're thick. There's no, there's, there's, there is no third option, right? You're stupid or you're a liar. It's one or the other. So the debunk of this is for Dave. There's Dave there. Uh, the debunk of this is this, right? Right? Is it? Right? A helium balloon in a vacuum chamber. We press play on it. It's going to be a short video. You see the helium balloon there, right? And you the vacuum pump. There's the pressure. Pressure is going down. As it's going down, the helium balloon starts to expand. Why is it expanding? Because the density of the medium, 
that's surrounding, I'm just going to pause it, I won't pause it. The density of the medium that surrounds it, right, right is lessening, right? So the cubic inch density, because gas doesn't really have a density, you can only give it a calculation of a cubic inch density. The, the density of the air, the cubic inch density of the air, is lessening in the surrounding of the balloon. So naturally, there's less resistance in on the balloon, right? So the, so the, the helium inside expands. But as the air is being extracted from the chamber, right, and it's going into what we would ma mathematically call a vacuum. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect vacuum. They're only hypothetical. Uh, it's third law of thermodynamics. Um, uh, there will always be, uh, you'll never have a perfect vacuum. There will always be um, infrared radiation, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to into all that now. The point is, is that just in case any, anyone who wants to be smart, right, because there's always some ball or in the comments who wants to be smart and say, you know, a perfect vacuum doesn't exist. Everyone knows that, right? Everyone in this arena surely knows that anyway. Point is, I know that, and I don't need to be told that stupid nonsense. There is a particular grades of vacuum. And when you get to one of those grades, there's low vacuum, medium vacuum, high vacuum, super high and ultra high vacuum. I think there's like five grades. Point is, is that, right, what's actually happening is the medium that's in there is being, right, extracted. So what's happening is this, there's still, because there's still air in there, right, it, it because there's still air in there <coughs> um, um, at this point, but, but the more uh, at this point, but there's so little of it, it is what we would call a vacuum. It's after reaching that pressure, right? So as it keeps going down, right, right, he brings it down. You can see up here, it keeps going down. Right? The balloons after falling down, right, he stops it at that point. He stops the pump. The balloons after going down, right? So <clears throat> now the density, right, of air in that chamber is the same above as below. So why did the helium balloon go down? Because according to Dave Farina, right, the helium, uh, according to Dave Farina and all these other idiots, the helium balloon should go up still. Why did the helium balloon go down? What caused it co to go down? Why did it go down? And more to the point, if, he, if this guy kept that vacuum pump on, what would eventually happen, as you can see the helium is expanding, it will bust out of the balloon, right, it'll bust the balloon open and fill the chamber equally in all directions, 360 degrees, right? So where's your gravity? There is no gravity. Doesn't exist, right? It's buoyancy, which is a density differential between the object or substance and the medium it resides within, right? A blacksmith's anvil will fall through air, it'll fall through water, but it'll go up in mercury. Why? Because of the density issue. So what's happening is, the overall density of the helium balloon is now, because it's after going down because it is now greater than the surrounding medium, right? So why isn't the balloon still going up, Dave? All the ballers, why isn't the balloon still going up? This completely, so that stupid, uh, dishonest, pathetic rebuttal is gone. It's over, right? It's over. This completely debunks it. Because if, if it had something to do with gravity, Right, a claimed force of gravity, as he's saying, uh, how come the object, how come the object goes down and doesn't go up when the, the air above the object is is all, is less dense even than the air below the object? Right. Well, here, right, the density is the same in all directions. Right, it's a vacuum pump, so the de de whatever density is in there is the same in all directions. So how come the helium balloon is not still going up? <coughs> the answer he can only give, the only answer he can give is buoyancy. The buoyancy has changed because you've removed the air. So you've removed the buoyancy of the air. Now, there's a lot more I could say about that. But you've removed the buoyancy of the air. So now the overall density of the helium balloon is greater than the surrounding medium. So it goes down. So if the overall density is greater than the surrounding medium, it goes down. If it's less than the surrounding medium, it goes up. It's that simple. There is no force of gravity. See, see uh, Isaac Newton. See uh, uh, Albert Einstein. Right, if you want to promote a force of gravity, find the hy go and get the hypothesis put forth by a scientific hypothesis put forth for, by any of those two men. You won't. It doesn't exist. Right, there is no force of gravity. It doesn't exist. It's 110 years out of date. This debunks your stupid rebuttal. Right, and there's, that's not the only rebuttal. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not the only debunk. Right, but this is just the easiest one. Right, so 
two day for Rena and all the other bozo ballers, how come the helium balloon is not going up? And how come when it busts, it fills the chamber equally? Now, regardless of the size of the chamber, right, it'll f the size of the vacuum chamber, it will fill it. Unless, you know what I mean, because there won't be temperature. You know, because you, you need a temp temperature differential to create a, a density differential. So, how come the helium balloon is not going up? How come the helium balloon went down? It went down because the buoyancy differential between the object or substance and the medium it resides within has changed. So, the buoyancy ratio has changed. That's why. Nothing to do with any force of gravity. Nothing to do with any nonsense. There is no force of gravity. Right? As I said, just before I finish, anyone in this arena, on our opposing side, or even on our own side, trying to claim that a force of gravity exists, or any force of down, right, is either completely dishonest, or super thick, one or the other. And that goes for the people promoting dielectric acceleration. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.